Wow, how crazy was that? Now this is what went through the windscreen of that car. It's your typical tow bar of your family vehicle. Let's take a closer look at some of the design features. This would be the setup on an average new car. So you've got your tow ball and your tongue and that slots into your mount. And then that's all secured with this pin here. And if we look on the other side, you've got this little thing that looks like a hair clip. It's called an R clip. And that slots through the pin and keeps it secure from falling out. I'll show you how easy it is to remove. You can do this by hand, just pull that pin out like so. And then it's just a matter of pulling this pin out. As easy as that. Now this tow bar becomes a dangerous weapon, especially if you're driving at freeway speeds. And what can happen now while you're driving around, this thing's wiggling around. And all of a sudden, boom, it pops out. Whoa, that's actually quite a hefty weighted object. I would estimate at least around five kilograms. I reckon we go and weigh this and see how much it actually weighs. Unless it says on here. Um, no, it doesn't. That's getting quite heavy. Let's see how, watch this. That's a bit of dead weight there. All right, just got some fresh batteries in the scale. All right, let's see how much this tow bar tongue weighs with tow ball in place. What's your guesses? Leave it in the comments right now. All right, I can't hold this much longer. All right, that's still pretty impressive. Almost four kilos. Well, that's pretty good, 3.94 basically, there we go. So how's that? Almost four kilos of solid steel tow bar tongue flung at another vehicle. That's crazy. So what can we do to prevent this from happening? Let's go and check it out. Okay, so how can we prevent this from ending up in somebody else's windscreen? Let's pop it back in to where it belongs. Just line that hole up in there. So with your tow bar sitting in there like that, you wouldn't really be any wiser to think that this pin would be missing. It's not really something that you would check every time you get in your vehicle, uh, but perhaps until you get it fixed, this should be one of your main checks that you do before you jump in, because that could uh, end up in somebody else's vehicle, possibly even uh, killing somebody. And that's also another reason to double check your trailer's safety chains are securely attached. This is separate from the trailer hitch, so if your trailer hitch does manage to come out because someone took the pin out, um, it won't be such a disaster. So there's a couple of options. So with your pin here, we'll slot that in, put that in the other side. It doesn't matter which way around it goes, we'll put it in this way so we can see. So there's a hole here which this, this little clip goes in. So normally that just slots in there, pushes over. Generally, that would be very secure until somebody decides to pull it out. Pull your pin out and take these two things home with them. Then you're left with an unsecured tow bar tongue, which weighs almost four kilos. So let's fix this. We'll pop that back in. So there's really about three ways to secure your tow bar tongue. You can grab yourself a cheap padlock, combination or keyed padlock and you can slot that through the hole there uh, drill it out a bit if necessary or grab a smaller padlock that will fit through that hole no problem so we could just use this padlock here it's a little bit unsightly having a big shiny dangly earring type gold padlock hanging off the back of your vehicle let's show you the other way let's take a look at the amarok this one here's actually got if you can see under there it's quite a different pin. So this one is actually secured by a key lockable pin. So that can't just pull out. You need to put a key in there, unlock it, and that will remove this end here. And then you can remove your tow bar tongue. Um, this came with my vehicle. I don't know where the key is, but I've got no reason to take this out, uh, which is good for me. So now the fix that I did on my Ford Ranger. All I did is drill this hole out just a fraction 
and I just inserted a small tech screw. Uh, that doesn't come out by hand. You need specialized tools to get this out, which is a 516 bit like this. So if you haven't got one of these on you with a impact driver or cordless drill, there's no way you're just gonna pop this out in a car park. Um, they would just move on to a different vehicle and yours will be safe. You can also get these tech bits with extra long drilling heads on them and a finer thread. This should just drill straight through that hole and make its own thread. So we're gonna use this one, I reckon, and we'll see how that goes. So grab your pin. You don't need to use a vise, but if you've got a little type of vise, it will make the job a lot easier. Pop that in your vise there, and then now it does sit in. That's actually too big, so we're not gonna be able to use this tech screw. That hole's bigger than I thought, so that's out of the question, let's try this metal tech screw here. That one will fit in just nicely. That hole is a little bit too small, I think. The cutting edge goes straight through, but this would be hardened steel. I did look this up as I wasn't sure, and a hitch pin is normally made of mild carbon steel and is forged. So this makes it strong but flexible, so it doesn't snap. I should have known that. So I might just drill that out a tiny bit more. Otherwise, this is gonna snap the head off that tech screw. This one's a bit big, that's a seven millimeter. Let's see if we have a six millimeter drill bit here. Right, I don't have a five millimeter drill bit. So I might just try and send this through and see what happens. It should be okay. Even if you do a couple of passes, that's actually a three eight head. So, so this one's a three eight head. So that wasn't a th three eight, this one's a three eight here. If you can take it out, as you can probably see that it's already started to make a bit of a thread inside of there. So a couple more passes, that should go in nicely. Get rid of the swarf, go again. And it doesn't have to go in all the way either. We just want it nice and secure. So that's made a pretty decent thread inside of there. Okay, so our pin is prepped and ready to go back in. Just be wary which side you want the thread on. So we've got the thread on this side here. Focus. So we want to put the pin in this way. If you put the thread in this side, you want to put it back in this way. So pop this back into the hole in the tow bar. Like so. And you can see we've got a little threaded hole there. Then you just want to grab your tech screw and pop that straight in like so. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Nobody's going to pull your pin out and let your tow bar loose. And that's it. A lot neater. There goes all the drill bits. Okay, let's try that again. That's all there is to it. Tow bar tongue is now secured. No ugly padlocks hanging off the end there. So if anyone goes to steal it from the car park, it's not going to come out. And that is not going to pull out by hand either. You definitely need to bring your impact driver to get that out. And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and leave a comment below. This helps my channel out lots. And if you'd like to subscribe, that would be incredible. Beauty.